and you and of course you 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Christina and this channel is old school a as MR sounds Thank you very much for stopping by Tonight I just felt the need to take a break from the role plays love, love creating them, but I just wanted to do something different tonight something relaxing for you so I thought that it might be as I have said relaxing just to show you some of my favorite books of some of my favorite books of all times I um, have books in three languages in my bookcase I couldn't bring all my books with me just small, 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 small part I um, was that kind of teenager who spent uh, the allowance on books so most of them are um, valuable to me of course because they are some of them are real masterpieces but because I remember the very moment when I bought them and um, uh, that moment remained suspended in time with me forever and um, I will show um, them to you one by one and I will tell you a little bit about um, the book itself and about the moment I bought it what or I received it and what that book represents to me I don't have here all my favorite books it's just a little a small part a few of them started I have them uh, randomly here I will uh, I take them randomly this little little book is called footprints footprints it doesn't have an author it's a collection of quotations and it's a very dear to me because it is a gift from my students and, um, and the idea that they thought about me and they chose this cute book thinking that I might have enjoyed it means a lot a lot a lot so I um I kept it of course as a nice memory and the, the quotes are are also are, and these are motivational quotes they from um, Shakespeare um, from um, a 
Page Jackson Brown, Nelson Mandela. So this is a little little book that has in it some quotations, motivational ones, and that is really dear to me. It has um. Footprint in the sand here. It's very cute. It's written here. Footprints. Really cute. And such nice memory. Okay, I also love poetry. And book by its cover. I bought this book when I was in high school. I had, when I was in high school, I studied universal literature and I had one of the most amazing teachers in the world. She was extremely smart and she succeeded to make us read and enjoy and um, one um, of the first books that she had ever recommended to us was Omar Hayam's Rubaiyat The Persian loved this this book there is a little bit about the author's life in here with a bit of history and then we go directly to the amazed amazing type of poetry that he wrote. Um, this is a translation and it the, the translation is a very old one. It was it was made in nineteen thirty two. So um, the one who translated the little poem translated them as um, as texts I'm trying to they are in Romanian translated in Romanian but I'm going to try you see I um, I used to write my ideas and thoughts so I have always been impressed by this this author. I, I love I love um, his poems, his rubaiyats. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
and this is one of my my favorite poet ever Omar Hayam another one another poet that I love it's Whitman Walt Whitman and I have another another old book here so um When I was a student in university, of course, I was poor, so I couldn't afford uh, new books. And we used to go very often to uh, book uh, fairs, I think they are called, and we bought old books. That's why I love very much the smell of old books. I love the smell of new books, of course, but I also love how old books smell because this smell brings back a lot of a lot of memories and um, this uh, is a little book, a little poem book by Whitman. Gifted to me by my best friend um, in um, college, in university, we were students, and uh, she bought this for me. We, um, we, and th there is a very nice story. So we um, met me and my best friends forever. We uh, met at the university and we studied, we were, um, we, um, we, me and my best friends met uh, at the university. We um, lived in uh, the same uh, room. We were also dorm mates for four years. And we um, we are still best friends now, although we live in three uh, different countries in the world. We're very, very far away from each other. So this is from my one of my best friends from Diana. Thank you. I still have it. Okay, so I told you that I have books in three languages. This is the kind of book that I like to read when I'm traveling or I'm just... And I just want to relax and it's um, translation in Italian. It says La Voce, that one. The Thunders. Well, Bear Smith So I also read this type of books Okay I don't know if I... I don't know why they... They use this cover So don't judge a book by its cover this is again one of my favorite books and it's by T.H. Lawrence. It's called Women in Love. D.H. Lawrence is one of my favorite authors. I like this but I don't have with me. I um, I don't have it here. I, uh, my favorite book uh, by D.H. Lawrence is The Rainbow. love that book and the metaphor of the rainbow, the metaphor of the ring, the, um, that kind of union made half in the sky and half on earth. So one part of the rainbow and the other part of the rainbow, the two parts join in 
a ring, the symbol of infinity and marriage. That that book is wonderful. And H. Lawrence, I cannot show you that cover. Oh, I think I have read this at least ten times or more. This is John Fowles. I have loved this author since since I was in high school. Um, this is the Magus. I also um, I also loved the collector and also loved the the collector. I think most most of his novels, his novels, I I loved, loved, loved. But if you want to read only one by this, or to start with one. I recommend this one, Magus. Um, it, th th this author has a very uh, original way of writing. Um, you will see if you are interested. Um, he leaves um, the end open sometimes for you to decide, or he creates two endings for the same book, a lot of metaphors, very intriguing. Alright, now. I have um, John. I have John Goldworthy. Um, this is um, for Sai Sanga. Another favorite book of mine. I absolutely love this, but I love more. Um, the modern comedy, which um, so this is a um, the saga of the uh, same um, family, and um, I love this book. Uh, I have loved it since I was in uh, in high school again. I sang up. And I found a postcard in here. I used to put little things. Okay, so this is for Sai Sanga. This is the modern comedy, which I loved more. More the white monkey. One of my favorite characters in this book is Flu. This is the silver spoon. This is 
salsa or no, my goes worth it. Now, another book that I, um, when I was in high school, I had, I had a lot of, of amazing teachers, but there were two in particular, the English teacher and the um, universal literature, and also the French teacher, that um, thanks to those teachers I started reading and I started to love reading French literature also um, just a second I have Baudelaire here Le Fleur du Mal Le Fleur du Mal Le Fleur du Mal And uh, I was talking about uh, my teachers in high school, so I started everything uh, uh, Balzac and Maupassant and Stendhal and um, Baudelaire, Verlaine. And I had amazing teachers, and uh, our English teacher loved this book and presented this book in such a way that we, we wanted to buy it and read it and um, this is the catcher in the rye catcher in the rye you have probably heard of of it. But back then in high school we somehow um, saw ourselves in the character. So where to dark scale? Very nice. Very, very nice. What else do I have? Yes. As my literature, one of my literature teachers in university said that there are some authors which belong to the second drawer, the second drawer of your desk. And he used to talk about Coelho this way, that Coelho is a second drawer writer, but I love I will always enjoy his novels. I know they probably belong to the second row, but this is the alchemist. Well, this book will always be on my top ten books, favorite books. I love this book. I love this book. And I love its message. I love the thing about the universe that when you really want something, all the universe works in your favor to accomplish your wish. I love I love it. No matter what um, literary critics say and so on, I love this book. So, back in high school I used to spend my allowance time on books. And I loved to order them. by mail. I received this in a mailbox and these are um, in English. So this one is
Uh, this one is James Joyce. I love James Joyce. I don't have Ulysses, but I um, succeeded to read the, the whole thing and I even loved it. So this is a portrait of the artist. I will always remember this because um, I had to deal with it in order to pass uh, uh, the um, one important exams at the university and um, somehow I feel that of course, two different things, two different authors, but I, I don't know why I will always relate um, a portrait of the artist with the catcher in the eye because it, I don't know, they are both about a um, teenager who discovers himself and um, changes metaphorically speaking and uh, he um, turns himself into um, in not a man but um, he, he grows some wings to say so And a lot of symbols and metaphors. So, what else I am? Um, have also Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. By Charlotte Bronte. Again, one of my favorite books. Um, I, I love to analyze it, metaphorically speaking. So, love talking about a Jane as a symbol for air, Jane Air. Mr. Rochester is symbol fire. And there are a lot of symbols and uh, motives in this book also and it's a book about um, if you read the first um, fragment the book begins with it not even she not even she so um, and it ends with I I about the journey, a journey, Jane Eyre's journey, outside and inside herself, turning from an it into I. I love, I love her. From this perspective, from this point of view, I love this book. I also love, um, by Thomas Hardy. I don't have it here. I love the Tess Dabberville. Word to show. Do you? This is Virginia Woolf. Mrs. Valaway. Mrs. Valaway. Famous book. Virginia Woolf had uh, tragic and, and extremely talented and good writer and finally I hope they won't finally I have the picture of Dorian Gray this is on my top 10 it's by Oscar Wilde I absolutely love this book. I love it. 